Hey, Dave here from Evolve Lab, and today we're going to be talking about the render selection tool in Varus. I'll walk you through how the tool works and how you can take advantage of targeted renderings to keep your prompts simple and get the results you want. With all that said, let's get into it. All right, with SketchUp loaded, let's go ahead and start Varus. A challenge that people often face is designing their prompt. And what I'm hoping to show you is with render selection, we actually don't need to design this perfect prompt that's going to check all the boxes. We can prompt generally and then target other areas to kind of refine our image to the final result we want. So I'll start really simple. So we'll just say modern office space. And I'm going to actually use V6 Sharp have a good model here, so I wanted to respect it. And I, it is an interior shot, so let's go ahead and send a few through. All right, so with the results back, if I click through, I think I like this result. And if we go over to the Edit tab, this is the Render Selection tool. So let's talk through some of the basics of how it works and before I even start a selection. So. If I click the tool and activate it, you'll see this toolbar come up. And if I click and release, it's going to use straight lines. And then to terminate it, you'll see that it actually snaps onto the endpoint. Once you have a completed section, it's going to show like that, but I can always cancel. And if you click and hold, I can actually draw more organic shapes. And as soon as you let go, you'll be right back into drawing straight lines. One other thing to note is if you are tracing like a, a ceiling like this and then I make a mistake, I can actually just hit the undo button and go right back to where I was. So um, like I just did, <laughs> uh, you can zoom in as well. So make sure you take your time and mask this out the way you want it. When you're approaching the edges of the canvas, I like to just go until my mouse appears and then just bring it back. It helps you really hit those corners. All right, so with the ceiling mask, let's just go ahead and put in something simple. Go ahead and render a few options of that. All right, so I think this is the ceiling I want. And let's go ahead and start refining some other pieces of this. So over here, let's go ahead and take advantage of that organic shape. And I'm going to go all the way over to here because I want to try to just try out some other casework and accent walls here. So, so let's go. And let's render a few of those. All right, so I think I like that one. That little accent piece came out really well. I'm going to get ahead and uh, play with the blend a little bit, make sure that it fades in there. All right, so yeah, let's move on to uh, this accent wall. So maybe we can try out some colors here. Again, keeping it really simple, color accent wall, alcove, leather furniture. And let's render a few options. All right, and the last thing that I want to do is change out these chairs. So for this, I'm going to get a little bit more advanced. And I'm going to go back to that very first rendering. If I click here, you'll see that this is the rendering that gave us the chairs and the floors to begin with. And to get this rendering, uh, Varus used all the settings seen here as well as the seed number. So if um, you enable seed on a view that's been rendered, it reveals what number was used as well as locks it in for any future, you know, future renderings. But for this, in this case, we're just trying to get the number that was used. Um, and then we're also going to pay attention to what prompt was used. So if I go back to that view that I want to edit and I change the prompt to modern office space, and I'm just going to add to it blue chairs 
bamboo legs. And then I'm going to enable seed, but I'm going to, rather than use the seed that was used, you know, for this rendered item, I'm going to paste in the one that was used that got us to this floor in these chairs. And the idea is that it, it's going to hopefully, or it's going to give us a much more consistent result, something that's going to pick materials that blend in with the surroundings a lot more. For the ceilings and the walls and some of these items, we had really clean edges that we could blend into, but with the chairs, it's really unavoidable. The chairs and the legs themselves, we're not going to trace around every one of these, so it's going to help blend in these new objects with the existing image. So with all that rambling complete, let me go ahead and mask this out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and render that selection. And when you have seed enabled, there's really no point in rendering multiple because it's always going to arrive at the same conclusion. But to do a comparison, why don't I pull out some of this? So I'm going to just say blue chairs, bamboo legs, and I'm going to disable seed. And we'll go ahead and render a few other options. All right. So. With those complete and you can really see like here are those random options and the floor you, we just didn't give it enough information the the floor got a little lucky with this one but otherwise um the render blend tool still pretty good <laughs> you could probably get away with it but i just want to compare these to the result we got using seed it is a bit brighter but if I just give it a little bit of blend, it's going to basically vanish because like if I drop this all the way down, you can see that even the wood grain that got picked is pretty similar to the original result. So with just a little bit of blend, they're going to vanish. And then there we go. We have our completed view. All right. So today we covered the render selection tool and then demonstrated that even with very simple prompts, we can get excellent results. If you learned something today, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. That way you'll stay up to date with all the latest features from the Evolve Lab apps. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out on the forums or through evolvelab.io. Thank you for watching and have a great day.